Time for one of my cynically motivated trailer reaction videos because Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 has an announcement trailer and everyone's talking about it and I've decided I'm entitled to a piece of that mind share pie, okay? I'm entitled to be part of it. I'm entitled to talk about it. So everyone listen to me for a moment. Do I have anything valuable to say? I don't know. Probably not, but this is YouTube. You don't need something valuable to say. You just need to be saying all of the time. Total bollocks, anything you want. Drinking blood, that one probably a vampire. So there's a keen observation I've made about the trailer for you. Vampires drink blood. They're drinking blood. Ergo, they're probably vampires. But this is a very exciting trailer. I like it. It's all cinematic, of course. But the music is... Uh, pumping like blood does huh so that's exciting a uh, lot of fun very stylish i like it uh, and people are very excited for this one the original vampire the masquerade was a huge cult hit and it's been a long time um it's been if i if i've got this right it's been longer than my whole career talking about games since the first one came out so People are understandably hyped for this one. And although we, you know, that's just cinematics, they've certainly got the style down, which I think many people will consider quite important. So, yeah, people are excited. That's something to talk about if you're not playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice right now, which I'm not because I've only got one controller knocking around at the moment, apparently, and I forgot to charge it last night. So I'm here talking over trailers with very little of value to say instead of playing Sekiro, which I really want to do. Also, my voice is still fucked. But yes, um, I've got a bit of a, a unique perspective on this, I guess, because I'm not so much familiar with the original Bloodlines game, but I am familiar with Vampire the Masquerade, as a tabletop game that I have played uh, many times. So I'm very familiar with the source material, but not as familiar with the video game, which is probably the opposite experience of a lot of people watching this. If you're part of the video game buying public, then chances are good that you are way more familiar with Bloodlines than you are with the actual masquerade. The tabletop game is very enjoyable. I'm a big fan of White Wolf style of tabletop gaming as opposed to something more like Dungeons and Dragons because the role playing is way more important. The story, the characters, they're way more important than just being able to hit things. You know, D&D, you can be as role play-ish as you like with it, but eventually it almost always comes down to using magic spells or swords to hit things to death and that's that's the driving force of the game is to level up and get better whereas in vampire it's more about learning things about the world and getting leverage over people or you know finding secrets getting better as a character you level up stuff of course you know your vampire disciplines and your skills and whatnot but it's a game where if you're in combat it's just as viable an option to hide under the table which i find a lot more interesting than being bottlenecked into direct face-to-face -face combat every single time but anyway, if you want a good look at just how popular, just how exciting the news is that there's a Bloodlines 2, it's already number two on the top selling Steam list. It's not out yet. It's beaten out only by Sekiro, which came out today, which I also like seeing, by the way. I like seeing the success of a game that is just a game. It's just a $60 game. You just buy it. There's not half a dozen special editions. There's not already uh, a massive wad of day one DLC. Myself and many others were understandably worried when Activision was attached as the publisher, but From Software seems to have definitely kept it in. I realize I'm supposed to be talking about Bloodlines 2, but you know, we've got the announcement trailer and I've talked about it. I just want to talk about right now how Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, is just, they just made and sold a video game which is what game companies should be in the business of doing. It's just nice. I have the impressions of that once my controller works. So anyway, the trailer looks like they've nailed it. Everyone seems very excited. It's nice to see a game announced 
and nobody's pissed off. No one's pissed off at this news, it seems. Everyone's just a bit happy, which lately I think is very important just to have something that people are positive on. And it's nice to do a little video, even just a little trailer reaction video, where good things can be shared and nice things can be said. I mean, they can be sort of half said because my voice is not... I don't even have a sore throat or anything. Just a knock-on effect from the bronchitis appears to be... Just no voice now, thanks. God, yeah, 2004. That's when the first Bloodlines came out, 2004. I wouldn't start writing about games professionally for about, about two more years. It's rare these days that you find a game, like a sequel to a game, uh, that came out before I started professionally talking about games. So yeah, fans have been waiting a very long time for this one, and, well... Bloodlines 2 has certainly put its best foot forward, so fingers crossed that the game itself is actually quite good, that would be nice, and we will of course be keeping an eye on it here, because I want to be a vampire, thank you. 